And what's good? It's your boy Chilwer here. Welcome back to the video. Uh, guys, sorry for not uploading so long. I know it has been 31 days since uh, my last upload, but you know, college life, it's uh, <laughs> complicated, especially with remote learning. Everyone needs to, uh, you know, sometimes to themselves. But still, no excuses. So here we are today. We're gonna make a video. A very, very good video, actually. But <laughs> becoming Superman in five days? Mm, that's not gonna happen, okay? Because I myself, as you can see, I don't look like Superman at all. My body, in terms of body size as well, okay? But you can learn something called the headbanger pull-ups, which uh, you can kind of see right over here. And this is the Elsa position, and you can learn how to go back and forth, but you're gonna learn that uh, a little bit more in depth into this video. It's a very, very cool counter stack move. So, let's go! Before learning this kind of static movement, you need to first know what it looks like. This is what it looks like, okay? So, as you can see, this man right over here is doing something called the headbanger pull-up. The movement that you'll be learning today, in 5 days, is called the Elson headbanger pull-up. So, as you can see, he is doing the horizontal movement, right parallel to the ground, but with his legs extended. The Elson headbanger, however, what makes it very very impressive is that you're gonna have the legs parallel to the ground, you're, you're gonna line it up with your abs, alright, your abdominals. So, when you combine these two elements together, that's what makes this movement so impressive. But at the end of the day, of course, the real way to really, really get impressed in the long term is fix your diet and continue to work out. That's really the only way. This, you learn that in 5 days, is really only gonna make you look cool for 30 seconds, really a party trick or a show off trick. So now I have to progress into this exercise, okay? First of all, we have the pull up, right? A lot of you know the pull up already, some of you better know it better than I do, so I'm not gonna go that much deep into it. Anyway, keep your legs tight, keep your abs tight, keep your entire body tight, direct all the force into the bar, boom, one up, boom, one up, right? Into this one repetitive, stable motion. Now here comes the second progression, and quite frankly, it's really the only progression keeping you from doing a regular pull up to the Elsit headbanger pull up. A uh, question, the headbanger Elsit pull up. Actually, <laughs> that's basically the same. Anyway, the, uh, it's really the Elsit pull up, right? So what makes the Elsit pull up so much harder is of course the requirement to have a strong abs and a stronger back or lats in general so you can pull your body up. But l the lucky thing is that you don't have to be able to do 10 to 20 reps of these to get the headbanger pull up because all you really need to do is to get the horizontal motion like this through the concentric phase of the exercise. Up, up, then down. So that's really all you need to do. If you have the correct technique and enough core strength, preferably 3 plus reps of these will get you to the L set headbanger pull. Now you have all the strength, you have all the technique, you're ready to actually do the L set headbanger pull. So, the number one thing is, of course, you line up to the bar, hold it tight, inhale before you actually do the concentric phase because that's when you need to exert the most force. We talked about that in the push-up video and the sit-up videos. If you guys haven't watched that, make sure you go watch it. So, get down tight. Try to keep the legs as straight as you can. If it's not straight, whatever. I mean, you know, again, party trick. Just do it, right? So, inhale. Whoa, oh, that's right, you did it! Just one rep, right? Because of the horizontal movement, that's really all you need to do. So again, keep your legs tight, inhale. Whoa, oh, and that's it! That's really all it takes. You just have to use that. Keep, keep your, hold your breath for a little bit longer during the uh, right, the horizontal motion. That's that's really all you need to do. I'll set hip and pull up. You got it! So another thing to watch out for is when you are up during the concentric phase of the exercise, you have to make sure that you exhale slowly and controlled. So you don't run out of breath when you do the horizontal movement. So, inhale. Oh! And that's it! You did it! You got that one rep off. Headbanger pull-ups. Rip, rip out a couple more if you can. Congratulations! Alrighty guys, so we just talked about the progressions into the L-Set Headbanger pull-up. 
So now we just need to know how to split it within five days. The first day, you're gonna do the regular pull up. Second day, try to get the horizontal motion in, right? So that's the head bang and pull up. Day three and four, try to incorporate both the head bang and pull up and then the L sit pull up, right? We just show that. Try to get it back to back to back. And then on day five, you just do stir up, try it. L sit right up there and then get that horizontal push in. And then that's it, you got it. You became Superman in five days. Now enjoy that party trick. If you guys have liked this video, make sure to subscribe, click like, smack that notification button so that you don't miss out any more videos like this one. <laughs> Alright guys, peace out. Bye bye.